visuals. Okay, uh, so let's go for our uh, Power BI file. Uh, so this is what we did. Uh, we did the S curve, S curve was line, the uh, cards, the matrix and tables. And also we did the tree map, the bar chart, the bar chart. Okay, so let's open new page. Okay, and let's see what we have today. So first we start with the gauge. This one is good to present the project uh, present uh, project duration. So we can get the project duration from the summary table. Okay, and we have uh, the minimum and the maximum. The minimum is a zero. So and the maximum we put the project duration. So this here we put the project duration. And for the the values for the value we can put the elapsed duration. So let's look for the elapsed duration. Yeah, here up. Okay. So that's the total duration one one five five and the the elapsed duration uh, one thousand one hundred forty one. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. So we can go to the format and we change the format. For example, if you want to put the title in the middle. And uh, so we have to ch ch choose the, f the, f the visual first, then go to background, for example, if I want to make it gray and I can make it smaller. So that's all about this. And if we want to get more visuals, as I told you, we go to get more visuals from here and go to Gantt, we search, we choose this one, okay. So now it is imported. This here, yeah, this one. I can click on this one. This is Gantt chart. And let's see the fields. We have the start and end and the category. So in the category, I can put by tower description, okay. And for the start date, I can get the dates from the task table. So I can get the start from the uh, this is the finish date okay and this is the start date so let's open up and see our visual okay uh, it doesn't look right why because in the start we have the earliest start of the earliest start date in this and in the latest in the finish date i have to choose the latest okay so now it is okay in each category I have the earliest start and the latest finish, okay? But this, it comes with uh, the, the time scale months. I can go to Gantt data hierarchy and change it to quarter or year, but quarter is more realistic, so let's make a quarter. So here it shows the, the start and finish for all categories, for all the tower description. But you see, there is a blank here because in my codes, there is some blanks. So I can just, I will do it here in the filter. Later I will review the filter, but I will review it. I'll, I'll remove it now from the filter. So now blank has been removed. Okay, let's do another one. So we choose this one and let's do it by uh, a hotel area, for example. So put the hotel area in the, in the category, okay and get the start and finish from the task date so let's get the finish date here in the end and start let's put it at the start okay and in the end we have to choose uh, the latest date in the finish yes here okay so now we have it and let's change the time scale so gantt data data hierarchy and get quarter so now we have the gantt chart per hotel area description also we can change the title from here go to format then title and we can write hotel area program okay so as usual we can just put it in the middle and make a background uh, change the font okay we can close this we can also uh, make a background for the the gun chart itself gray yeah let's choose another color oh, let's do it yellow yeah it doesn't look good but it's okay yeah just i want to show you the the, the, the format okay so uh, 
for the S curve, let's remove this one. I want to show you something if I want to make the curve for the resources. So I will choose a clustered column. Okay. And let's go to the baseline resources table. So let me open this one. And in the, in the axis, I'll put the date. And in the value, again, I will use baseline budget. Okay. This is the one which we prepared, right? Okay. So let's see. But now this is the total. Okay, uh, this is uh, the total of all resources. Remember, of all resources. So in the legend, I have to put the resource name in order to put categories. But there is a big difference in the values. So this doesn't look good. So I, look, I will uh, I will use the slicer. But later on, I will explain in detail the slicer. So just let me show you the slicer. So this is a slicer. And I will put the resource name in the slicer. So here, slicer is a filter. Okay, so I can just filter the resources that I want. So let me just put a background. Okay, and I can just choose sailing. Oh, uh, let me. This is monthly. I need monthly. So just delete the hierarchy. Okay and concrete curtain wall doors uh, wiring pipes sprinklers grc gypsum hvac so these are all my resources so it's very easy very handy uh, so uh, that's all for today see you next session and we are going to speak about some features very special features in power bi before we do our final exam.